Hello everyone, this is Rajendra and welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about multi-stage Docker file. So those who are going for Docker interview or specifically DevOps related interview, what is multi-stage Docker file is a very common question. So that is what we are going to understand today. So basically a multi-stage Docker file will help us to overall reduce the size of image, right? So how it helps uh, to reduce the size of the image, that is what we are going to talk about. So you can take any example. So I have one uh, simple Java application and we are going to try uh, uh, understand how this multi-stage Docker file will help us to reduce the size of this particular application. So I have this example, I'll, I'm going to share my Git repo link where I have a application stuff as well as the Docker file that we are going to use it, right? So just to make a, a small video, I have a ready-made Docker file uh, because we have already discussed how to write the Docker file in another video. So we'll not talk much on how to write the Docker file, what all instructions are there. We are specifically going to talk about what is multi-state Docker file and how we define it, right? So a very simple Docker file we have. So let me just comment this second part. I'll come back to this part because that is something we are going to talk about it. Perfect. So typically you have seen, uh, we have discussed already about this, uh, this kind of a uh, uh, Docker file, right? So we are taking one uh, image, base image. We are just giving allies as a builder. Then we are creating this particular app source directory. We are copying an application code into the app source. We are making our app source as a working directory. And then we are just running a maven package command. Okay, and then this is our entry point basically. In this entry point, we are just running one jar file, right? So basically for a Java application, main thing that we require is the jar file, right? But before getting that jar, okay, when we run a maven package, there are a lot of third-party dependencies required for our application that gets pulled on your machine and that are used to build your application, right? So here also the same thing is happening, okay? We are, when we do Maven package, whatever dependencies are required for, which are mentioned in the pom.xml, we'll pull it and then we'll package, uh, we'll just build our application and one jar file will be created, okay? But now once the jar is ready, definitely whatever is pulled, that is something we don't require. But still as we pulled it for inside this particular image, so that will be available inside that image and overall our uh, that will increase the overall image size, right? So let me just build this image. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to use docker build command hyphen T is to just give away the image name and then 1.0 docker file, right? So I already built this image. Let me just rerun it and our image is ready, almost ready. Just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so it is building, just uh, let's wait for a couple of minutes because it is going to just um, build it again. So we'll wait for just a few minutes. Perfect, so our image is built. So let's check what is the overall size of this particular image. Let me check it, Docker images. So the size of this particular image is 198 EMB, right? So now let's go back to our Docker file. Now let's convert into the, into the multi-stage Docker file. So how we do this? Basically, instead of directly running this, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment that part and then I'll just take a fresh image and then in the previous image, okay, we pulled a lot of third party packages to build our jar file, but that is something we don't require. So what we are doing is now in the copy instruction, we are saying from builder, the alias that we have used, okay, our directory is app source. So when we do the package under target directory, there's one jar file gets created. So what we are doing, we are just copying that jar file into this particular location. And that's what we are trying to run it here. So that means whatever we pulled and uh, used it for compilation, that's not required now. What we require right now is a jar file. That's what we took it from the previous step and then we are starting our application. So now 
out of this whole stuff, only that jar file is picked up and that we are copying into the new stuff, right? So this is something we called as a multi-stage Docker file, where first stage we just used uh, to generate a jar file and other stuff we just uh, ignored. And then in the new image, so this is our new image. We took this as a base image and we copied this app.jar and that's it, right? So now let's go back and let me just save it and let's build the image now. So this time I'll give the name as a multi-stage image 1.0. So let's run it. So perfect, so it got built. So now if I go back and see the image size, so this time you can see the image size is just 124 MB. So you can see almost 60, 70 MB got saved. So why this happened? This happened due to the multi-stage Docker file where we have skipped other stuff. What we required from this stage is a jar file. That is what we copied using this and we are done. So this is how simply with a help of multi-stage Docker file, we can highly reduce the overall size of the image. So I hope everyone understood this concept. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your uh, network. Thanks everyone.